Oops. Oops. Piece of shit. Do a bee inspection. Oh, not again. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, well. What is this? Back to shock and awe? How does this shock you? Aww. Oops! Whoa, fuck, there's a lot of bees in there. Um, that is a lot more bees than I expected. The insurgents have well defended this fuel supply. Holy crap, are they ever well armed. Good thing it's a cold day. Well, that ain't apple cider. That stale, stinky gas from the year 2000 from my shitty Toyota Cressida. There's in case we get problems. I decided to use uh, chemical warfare this time against the defending stronghold of the fuel cache. Here we go. Ha 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 ha! Ooh, you can still fly. Uh-oh. Wow, that works a lot quicker than Raid. Holy crap. I just found a new use for steel gas. I hope you could imagine what smell -o vision is like and appreciate this like I am. This fucking sucks. <laughs> Get to work and get this pig out of here. The matches were just in case the gas didn't work so effectively and efficiently. Well, so far so good. Except that asshole Scott who owns that shitty GMC 72 truck busted my window with a beer bottle. I don't want to get glass in my ass. Well, the problem with this one, you can see right now, there's the wet spot on the gas tank. As soon as you put the gas in, it all runs back out. I'm gonna do the same shit as I did on the Toyota. Rip the tank out, mount inside, and drive a loaded bomb as usual. I hope you don't let go. Snip. At least I know there's no gas in here. <sighs> yep. A few more snip snips and we'll make a redneck gas tank in the shitty Voyager that Matt the Van Smasher hit my favorite tree. Well, tanks a lot. That job's done. Well, now there's the fuel pump I've got to mount into another tank. Wow. What a trophy. You know, every time I turn my back, there's more bees. Everywhere I turn, 
there is more willing to die. I love you, spider. Tough luck, guys. Wow, gee. An undefended door. That's unusual. Is it a booby trap? <laughs> well, guess it's time to uh, get rid of you because I've got to climb in the back and make some fuel lines. Well, I guess so long as I keep using conventional warfare, every door I open, every seat belt I put on, <clears throat> every time I open my gas cap, I've got to about think about defending what I want the most. Well, fuel lines have been rerouted inside the vehicle. Well, it looks like I'm ready to die a fiery death. Let's see if this piece of shit starts. It was last running November last year, 2006. Here we go. I don't want no glass in my ass. Hundred five thousand kilometers. Hmm. I think that's a hundred and twenty thousand miles. Maybe a summer chicken, but definitely not a spring chicken. Bottles moving. Um. I don't have much brake pressure, so don't know how it's gonna. Don't know if I'll be able to stop, but I don't know if I'll be able to go. I got no air, but I'm not going to fix that until I see if it runs. I heard the fuel pump. Does the radio work? Well, most important other than securing your beer, securing a good station. Yeah. Ain't heard that shit before. Here we go. Oh, first try. Hey, man. Thank you, Windsor boys. You know how to build a good van. What a piece of shit, and it ran. Not even any smoke. No air conditioning. Well, that sucks. Lots of bodies. Lot. Not bad. Well, now I gotta fix that fucking thing and we'll be ready to roll. Too good to be true. Oh wow. Amazing. Why not a touch of class? We'll go aluminum. Well, two hours later, since I started this video, I guess we're gonna be motoring now. Little growth. Little glass. And a few dead bees. And some kind of shitty tunes. And of course the gas gauge don't work no more because we got a plastic gas can. Sounds like I got a seized up wheel. No brake fluid. Who needs brakes at Dave's farm? Head for the nearest tree. Definitely we got a seize wheel. 